हॅलो आय एम डॉक्टर मंजिरी वळसंकर डायरेक्टर भिडे हॉस्पिटल आय व्ही एफ सेंटर नवी पेठ पुणे टुडे आय एम गोईंग टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट अन एंटिटी इन टेस्ट्यू बेबी विच इज कॉल्ड ॲज ॲशरमन सिंड्रोम नाव इट मे साऊंड व्हेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड बट ॲशरमन सिंड्रोम मीन्स नथिंग बट स्टिकिंग ऑफ all you walls of the uteri so that the capacity of the uterus is reduced to half and there is problem with the child to hatch into this uterus and grow into this particular uterus so whenever a patient who cannot conceive comes to us she is subjected to several investigations like her blood hormone testing as well as 3d sonography at the baseline visit and on these sonographies sometimes while tracking the folliculometry we get to know that there is a problem with the inner lining of this patient's uterus and it is not growing fine to confirm this we do a test which is known as diagnostic hysteroscopy or an hsg x-ray as well can be done by which we know what is the size and shape of the uterus and is there any problem with the carrying capacity of this particular uterus sometimes unfortunately certain patients on hysteroscopy show curtain like bands between walls of the uterus and the space in which the baby must hatch is completely obliterated by these white color bands which are known as adhesions these adhesions may be as a result of previous miscarriages of the patient or if she has had previous curettages which are done after repeated implantation failures or repeated abortions or repeated ivf failures and as a result of this the inner lining of the uterus which is known as endometrium fails to grow fine and the uterus is full of these white colored bands and there is no space for the baby to hatch whenever we come across these patients we always subject them to various testing like tuberculosis pcr etc just to know what may be the cause of these ashman syndrome but previously handled due try like previous dnc's or previous curettages in the patient is most common reason for ashman syndrome now this ashman syndrome needs to be treated before we proceed for any kind of assisted reproduction technology the treatment of this ashmans includes hysteroscopy guided removal of these bands by laser or bipolar which is known as hysteroscopic adhesiolysis once the adhesions or the bands are carefully removed the space in the uterus is got back to normal and this patient is immediately then subjected for a ivf procedure and the implantation rates or the carrying home baby rates are much better after hysteroscopic adhesiolysis in a patient of ashman syndrome so how do we suspect ashmans in a patient who has been having absolutely no problem with her menstrual flow if she suddenly starts having problem with the flow like scanty flow or absolutely decreased flow or only barely a pad per day in her menstrual cycle or spotting instead of previous bleeding or severe pain in her abdomen during her menstrual cycles these are all a few symptoms which hint us that maybe she is having ashman syndrome hence if you have had previous miscarriages and wanting to have a child through ivf it is extremely important that you ascertain the capacity of your uterus to carry a child and confirm that you are not having ashman syndrome and if you have ashmans get yourself treated for an ashman syndrome first then followed by ivf thank you